Welcome back everyone. I'll go ahead and show you exactly how to install or basically play PlayStation 4 games on any iOS device that's running either iOS 12 or iOS 13. Now if you're running iOS 13, it might be a little bit better, but a prerequisite to all this, you will need a PlayStation 4, which might seem kind of weird and kind of backwards, but that is the way it is. There's no PlayStation 4 emulator right now for the iPhones yet but this is almost the next best thing. So what this is, is that, you know, it's an app that's been around for a very long time, at least for like a year now. And what this is, is that it's just the remote play PlayStation 4 app for iOS devices. And I'll leave a link down below so you guys can actually go and just click on it, and download it straight from there. So as long as you have a PlayStation 4 in your vicinity and you're near it, then you should be able to go and play those games that you currently own or really anything on your PlayStation screen on your iOS device. So it's not even just games. If you have, you can just do everything you can on a PlayStation 4 on your iOS, almost like a secondary display in a way. So the first thing you want to do is you want to figure out your account information for your PlayStation network. That's very, very important. Usually it's just the email and then your password, and you're going to need to input that into the app, but we'll get to that in a second. But what you want to do is you want to go to your PlayStation 4 and you want to open the settings app and you want to go into the remote play connection settings and you want to make sure that you enable remote play. This is very, very important. If this is disabled, then you will not be able to actually go through with this. So once you do have that enabled, what you want to do is make sure that your PlayStation 4 and your iPhone are connected to the same exact network. So the Wi-Fi, you want to make sure you're connected. Make sure you're not on cellular on your iOS device. You want to make sure you're connected to the same exact Wi-Fi. So as long as you go into the settings on your PlayStation 4 and the settings on your iPhone and concur that both those Wi-Fi's are connected, then you're pretty much set. So what you want to do at this point, you want to download the remote app or the PS4 remote play app, whatever it's called. It's called the PS4 remote play app, but it's whatever. It's the same exact thing. <laughs> Once you have that downloaded, and again, this will be linked down below, so you can just download it from there and click on it. You want to open up the app and it'll basically tell you how do you want to log in. And you're going to want to log in with your PlayStation Network credentials. So again, that email that you had in that password, password, you want to input the same exact one that's on your PlayStation 4. You want to input it on your iOS device. And once you're set, you want to click start and it'll start trying to connect to the PlayStation 4. Now you will probably run to a ton of different errors, which I have every single time I try to connect to my PS4, but it's totally okay. All you have to do is just exit out of the app and then come back. It's a temporary thing. I don't know why it happens every single time, but it's, it is what it is. So we can't really do anything about it. So again, just quickly hop out of your PS4 app, the remote play app, and then log back into it. If you're still having some issues, what you can do is restart your PlayStation 4 and see if that helps and make sure you have the remote play settings enabled on your PS4 like I stated before. So hopefully at some point you should be able to connect to your PlayStation 4. If you're still having issues, you can just register it manually, which is on that lower you know, right hand side. I would recommend hitting that and I think you will be able to type in the credentials on your PS4 screen and connect that way. So if you have multiple PS4s in your area, then it would probably help if you register manually. And then eventually you'll have the whole entire PlayStation screen on your device. And that's pretty much the process. You can play games, you can control your PlayStation 4 straight from this app, which is really cool. So you don't need to connect to a controller. But the really cool thing is if you're on iOS 13, you'll be able to connect not only a PlayStation 4 controller, but a Xbox One S controller or One or One X controller, all those controllers, you'll be able to connect those into this console as well, which is really awesome. So you have that capability of doing that, which is really, really cool. So that's really pretty much the process. If you guys have any questions or run into any problems, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So me so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel, all those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate if you guys to check it out. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.